The curve fills element has tools that bend stitches to create movement and dimension to embroidery designs. The first tool I'm going to demonstrate is called contour, as it creates stitch lines that follow the contour of the object. As I make the shape more complicated, the stitches regenerate and continue to follow the contour giving it a three-dimensional effect. Contour fill can be applied to any shaped object or even text. This is Wilcom's Block 2 font. I'm going to enlarge it and then break it apart into individual sections. Now I can apply the stitch effect. The stitch lines are a little bit too wide there, so I'm going to reduce the space into 2 mil. Perfect. Now we have a hand brushed effect. The next tool I want to show is called liquid. We'll start off again with a circle of fill. I'm going to space the stitches apart so we can see them more clearly. With the object selected, I click on the liquid icon and hit the reshape tool to bring up two angle lines. By adding more nodes to an angle line gives you more adjustability as you drag them for the stitches to follow the shape. Any travel lines can be removed by clicking on Trapunto. I'm doing the same here for the bottom. And what happens is the stitches flow from the shape you form at the bottom to the shape you formed at the top. The final tool is called Florentine. This generates one angle line that you can add nodes to to define the angle of the stitches. It's the one digitizers probably use most and it works great when you apply it with other effects such as accordion spacing for shading. I'm going to conclude with an example of how Florentine can be used on a real life embroidery design. On this badge we have a wave. Now waves are always moving, yet we've got a plain blue tatami fill. By applying Florentine and selecting reshape, it brings up the stitch angle line. By adjusting those to a deep arc, we've now created a fill that follows the curve of the wave. And I think to finish this off, instead of having uniform stitches, I'm going to hit tatami, adjust the randomised value, to break them into long and short stitches to accentuate the movement even further.